Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will learn how to add boot and install image in Windows Deployment Server. You can use WDS Management Console to graphically add boot and install image. To open that console, we need to click on Start button and click on Windows Admin Tools. Scroll a little bit and double click on Windows Deployment Services. That is going to open the Management Console, expand your server and expand your server name. Let's click on boot images and you can verify that boot images folder is totally empty because right now we don't have any boot or install image on our server. To add a new boot image, we need to right click on boot images and select the location where you have stored the boot image. In this case, already I have attached the ISO image of Windows 10 operating system to this virtual machine. Let's click on this PC and you can verify that. Let's right click on DVD drive and select open. Under sources folder, you will find boot and install image. So by default on your installation media, there will be one folder with the name sources and under that folder, you will find boot and install image. This is the boot image and uh, let's search for install image as well. This is the install.ovim images there. So we are going to add this boot and install image to our WDS server. For that, we need to right click on boot images and select add boot image. We need to select the location. Uh, under note, you can verify that is uh, telling the same thing which I told you earlier that on installation media, you will find boot and install image under sources folder. Click on browse. Click on this PC. And our DVD drive later is E, so let's double click on it. Let's double click on sources folder and here we have a boot image. So let's select boot.vim image. Click on next. Image name and description is there. You can change the name and description as per your requirement. For example, this is a Windows 10 image. Let me give name. Microsoft Windows 10 a setup. Click on next. Next again. And this is going to copy that image from our installation media to our local folder uh, which we have created during the configuration of WDS server. Name of that folder is remote install. Image is successfully added to our local server. Let's click on finish to close this console. And now under boot images, you can verify that we have a one image with the name Microsoft Windows 10 setup x64. To add a new install image, we need to right click on install images folder. And here we have a two options. The first one is to add install image, but the second one is that and which is telling us to add image group. Image group is a subfolder under install image folder. Image group is used to store similar install image. For example, if you have a client computer's install image, that time you can store those images under one's particular folder. So you can easily identify it. So first I'm going to create an image group and as I'm going to select add image group. Let's specify the name of your image group. I'm giving name Windows Client OS. Let's click on OK. As you can see, we have a new subfolder under install images. Let's right click on that subfolder and now I'm going to select add install image. So you can also right click on install image and then you can select the image. But simply we want to add that Windows 10 install image under this folder. And that's why I have right click on that. Click on browse. And already location is selected. Let's select install.vim file and click on open. Click on next. If you have multiple addition in that install image, those additions will be listed here. So for example, if you want to include only one specific image, that time you can select it from here. And if you want to install all images, simply you click on next button. Now under selected image, you have options to select multiple image. Uh, let me press shift key and let's use drop down arrow to select all images and then I'm going to click on next button. It is going to copy that install image from our installation media to our local server and that's why it is going to take a while to copy that file. Install image were successfully added to our local server. Let's click on finish. Let's verify that now we have a total 11 install images available under Windows Client OS subfolder. At this point, 
we have one boot image and install image of windows 10 operating system now we can deploy windows 10 operating system using this wds server in this lab guide we have seen the steps to add boot and install image in wds server